Hello up there, welcome to this tutorial on partial fractions. If you are joining us now, check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on partial fractions. In this video, we'll be looking at linear factors but repeated at the denominator. So we take our first problem. Problem one. Resolve 2x plus 1 all over x minus 1 all squared into partial fractions. Um, to resolve this into partial fraction, we are going to take two constants. And the first constant we take one of these factors, while the second constant we take the whole factors raised to power 2. So in this case, we are going to have it as equal to a, which is representing the numerator of the first factor, over x minus 1, which is the factor non-repeated. Then plus b, which is the second constant for the numerator of the second fraction, which takes both repeated factor. So we will now find a way of finding the values of a and b. So this will be equal to finding the LCM of x minus 1 and x minus 1 all squared. And the LCM is x minus 1 all squared. Now, this x minus 1 all squared divided by x minus 1, we remove 1 of the x minus 1. Then we now multiply it by a so that we have it as a into x minus 1 then plus x minus 1 all squared divided by x minus 1 all squared we leave out with 1 then we multiply it by b so we now have it as plus b now here we say since the denominators are equal the numerators are equivalent so we say 2x plus 1 is equivalent to a into x minus 1 plus b. So this is going to be very easy. So we take this factor, which is x minus 1, equate it to 0, and solve, which gives x is equal to 1. So we are going to put x is equal to 1. So 2 times 1 gives 2 plus 1 gives 3. So the left hand side will be equal to 3 then this is 1 minus 1 which gives 0 multiplied by a gives 0 so and we are now left with b here which means b is equal to 3 so we've gotten the value of one of the constant so let's put x is equal to 0 since we've gotten a at that point we now be left with 1 is equal to putting x is equal to 0 here we will be left with negative 1 times a gives negative a then plus b and since we've gotten b we now bring this to this side which is going to give us a equal to 3 minus 1 and 3 minus 1 is equal to 2 so we then substitute a and b into this expression so that we will now have 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 all squared will be equal to our a is 2 so we have 2 over x minus 1 plus our b is 3 so we have it as 3 over x minus 1 all squared and with this we have resolved 2x plus 1 over x minus 1 all squared into partial fractions. So we go to the next problem. So we have problem 2 here. For problem 2, we have to resolve x squared minus x minus 1 over x plus 2 into x minus 2 squared. This is a combination of linear factor not repeated and linear factor but repeated so resolving this we are going to have it as we treat this linear factor as usual 
So we now say this is equal to a over x plus 2, then plus b over one of the factors, which is x minus 3, then plus c over the factor repeated. To get the values of a, b, and c, um, the LCM is x plus 2 into x minus 3 all squared. The same thing here. What we we'll do now is to multiply through by the LCM. So multiplying the whole of the left hand side by the LCM, we'll be left with x squared minus x minus 1. Then we now multiply the whole of these by this. So at that point, x plus 2 will be cancelled by this. We are now left with x minus 3 all squared to be multiplied by a. We now have a into x minus 3 all squared. Then that's going to be plus the whole of this multiplied by this. One of these will go. We then multiply by b. We now have b into x plus 2 into x minus 3 then plus the whole of these multiply by this lcm so this will go will be left with x plus 2 multiplying it by c will be left with c into x plus 2 so we have done this and to get our constant a b and c we go by elimination such that when we substitute a particular value of x, one or two of the constants will go. We will now be able to find the third constant. So from here, we pick one of the factors, x minus 3, equate it to 0 and solve. So x is equal to 3. So we now put x is equal to 3. So this is going to give us 9 minus 3, which is 6 minus 1 gives 5. So the left hand side will be 5. Here will be 3 minus 3, 0. This is A is gone. And uh, this B will be gone. So 3 plus 2 gives 5. Times C will give us a 5C, which shows that C is equal to 1. After dividing both sides by five then we go ahead again to make this factor to be equal to zero and that will give us x to be negative two so we put x is equal to negative two putting x is equal to negative two here we have four minus negative two we give us plus two which will now give us six six minus one gives five so the left hand side is five and uh, here, negative 2 minus 2 will give us negative 5. And negative 5 squared gives 25. So we have it multiplied by A to give us 25A. Here, this is going to give us 0. So B will go. This is going to give us 0. C will go. So we are left with 5 equal to 25A, where A is equal to 1 over 5. That is after dividing both sides by 25. So here we have gotten C and A. So to get our B now, we can now substitute any value of X. So the easiest one now is just to put X is equal to 0. Putting X is equal to 0, we have uh, the left hand side to be negative 1 is equal to this is 0 negative 3 squared gives a uh, 9 times a will give us a uh, 9a now putting x is equal to 0 we are left with 2 x is equal to 0 we are left with negative 3 so 2 times negative 3 gives negative 6 multiplied by b we give us minus 6b and this is 0 here we will now be left with 2 times c gives plus 2c. Now, since we've gotten the values of a and c, we substitute so that we now have negative 1 is equal to 9 times 1 over 5 will give us 9 over 5, then minus 6b, 
2 times 1 will give us a 2. Then we now take this 6b to this side. So we'll be left with 6b. And uh, we take this negative 1 to this side, which is going to be plus 2. And at that point, we we'll now have 9 over 5 plus 3. So having gotten 9 over 5 plus 3, um, simplifying this, we have b to be equal to 4 over 5. Um, here, this is 15 over 5. 15 plus 9 gives 24. Then 24 divided by 6 will give us a 4 with the common denominator, which is a 5. So we have gotten the values of A, B, and C. We then substitute them into this expression. So we we'll now have it as x squared minus x minus 1 all over x plus 2 into x minus 3 all squared is equal to the value of A here is 1 over 5. So the 1 will form the numerator here while the 5 will join the factor at the denominator so we now have it as 1 over 5 into x plus 2 then we go to b our b is 4 over 5 so in the same way our b the 4 will form the numerator while this 5 joins the denominator so we have it as plus 4 over 5 into x minus 3 then plus our c here is 1 so that one we just form 1 over x minus 3 all squared and with this we have resolved the fraction into partial fractions and then we go to problem 3 for problem 3 we have to resolve x plus 2 over x squared into x plus 1 into partial fractions where x is not equal to 0. As soon as x is equal to 0, the fraction becomes undefined. So we now go ahead to resolve this into partial fraction. Here this is a linear factor repeated and this is just a linear factor. We are going to treat them accordingly. So here we now have it as a over one of the factors, which is a x plus b over the factor repeated. Then this one will be treated appropriately plus c over x plus one. And again, the LCM is x squared into x plus one. So we are going to multiply every term by the denominator which is x squared into x plus 1. So doing that to the left hand side, we'll be left with x plus 2 which is equal to a over x multiplied by this, we'll be left with x into x plus 1. Then multiplying it by a, we have ax into x plus 1 plus b over x squared multiplied by this denominator, the x squared will go We'll be left with x plus 1. Multiplying it by b, we have b into x plus 1. Then plus c over x plus 1 multiplying by the LCM here. This x plus 1 will go. So we'll be left with x squared. Multiplied by c, we'll have cx squared. So we go ahead to find the values of a, b, and c. So it is very clear here, first and foremost, we put x is equal to 0. So put x is equal to 0 here. On the left-hand side, we'll be left with 2 equal to, the whole of this will go, this will go, we'll be left with what? b, where b is equal to 2. Then again, we have one factor here, which is x plus 1, which means we are putting x equal to negative 1. So negative 1 plus 2 gives 1, and this is going to give us a negative a multiplied by 0. So a is gone, b is also gone, so we are left with negative 1 squared, which is a 1 times c, 
and that will give us a C, which means C is equal to 1. Then we can now go ahead to put any of the values of X. So we are choosing 1. So we put X is equal to 1. 1 plus 2 gives 3. This is 1 plus 1 gives 2 times A. We have 2A, then plus 2B. Since 1 plus 1 is 2 times B plus 2B, then this is 1, and that will give us plus C. So we substitute in the values of B and C. So we are having 3 is equal to 2A plus 2 times 2 gives 4, then plus 1, which is equal to C. So here... Um, we are taking this, the sum of 4 and 1 to this side, so we'll be left with 2a is equal to 3 minus 5. And 3 minus 5 is negative 2 divided by 2. We have a is equal to negative 1. So we have gotten the values of a, b, and c. So we now substitute appropriately. So that the fraction becomes negative 1, since A is negative 1 over X plus B, which is 2 over X squared, plus C, which is 1 over X plus 1. So it will be required, we rearrange so that this negative goes inside or in between. So that we now have it as... 1 over x plus 1 minus 1 over x, then plus 2 over x squared. And with that, we have resolved the fraction represented in problem 3 into partial fractions. And this is where we are ending this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please check the description section of this video on our YouTube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on partial fractions. Remember also to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share this video. Until we come your way again, goodbye.